So this is the time of year that we start having these youth baseball tournaments, and I think it's great uh, that we have these tournaments. What I don't you think, think it's is great. great. That we have tournaments? I think it's great. <laughs> I know, I, and let the kids play for championships. I'm all for it. What I don't think is great, and this is what we can discuss because I think I'm in the minority here. What I don't think is great is how big a deal we all make of them. We kind of forget that these are 12 year old boys out there playing little league baseball. I think you forget that they live in in the age of YouTube. So everybody's on camera, and the fact that they're televising it now, if they're making money against these kids. Of course kids, they're making money. I mean, yeah. I do have an issue with that. But these kids love, hey, look, you know, we can look at our play on TV. These kids nowadays, anyway, they're all about the generation of television, YouTube, social media. I love the fact that they get to compete, get to compete on a big stage. I have to say, if I had an opportunity when I was a kid, I would have loved to have done that. I, I don't like that sometimes maybe the purity of the game is stolen maybe by some adults because you bring kids in and maybe you recruit kids and there's some cheating that goes on. And you look, I mean, Danny Almonte is the first name that pops into my head. Whenever I right. think of Little League, here's a guy who wasn't old enough. They faked the birth certificate to get him in there. So that's the message I don't like that's being sent and to the kids. And the Taiwanese team in the, in the World yeah. Series. But I think you have the problem with this being televised. I have a problem with everyone making it a much bigger deal than it is. I get phone calls from viewers regularly this time of year. I can't believe you're not out covering my kid's team. My kid's team from Orange or wherever it is just won the state championship and they went undefeated. And, and I said, well, how old are they? Well, they're eight years old. And it's like, do you, you really think that because an eight-year-old Little League team went undefeated this year that everyone in the state cares about it? And apparently people do care about this Little League World Series. And for the life of me, I can't understand why. Have you, you been to Williamsport? In, it's beautiful. No, it's a lovely spot. And, and to go there would be different than watching it on television. But for the life of me, I can't understand why anybody would sit and watch 12-year-olds playing baseball and you talk about oh because they're playing and it's so pure but it's not pure because it's been commercialized and anything anytime you commercialize anything you take away from but you can't you go backwards the, the genie's out of the bottle well i, I mean, want to go backwards you, you can't you can't it is what it is and i and i understand that you you want it to be pure and these are little kids but we're just in a world now where everything's out there, and I don't agree that everything should be out there or that everything but, should be you know, televised. You, you brought up the YouTube thing, and it's true. Now everyone wants to put themselves on camera, right? Everyone's oh, okay. television. Yeah. But YouTube is kind of a, a select audience. I could go to that and watch it. Where all of a sudden did we get this feeling that everybody should care about these particular 12-year-olds playing baseball? And I think it's awful that we take these kids and make them represent their, their town, their state, but they love their that. region, their country, and we put them on national television to do this. We have to continue this over on, on, on sportsedge.com. Promise? I promise. We're going to continue <laughs> you this. You've got to calm down, by the way. <laughs> this, this is one of my pet peeves. We're going to continue this conversation over on sportsedge.com. For now, we're going to turn it over to our fitness and wellness expert who's going to teach us how to make sunblock on our own. Interesting. All right, so now let's continue it. So yeah, see, I just, I just think it's, you know, the, the moms and dads, and I think I was telling you that my nephew went out to St. Louis. Uh, he's 14, so a little bit older than, than what you're talking about. And it was televised locally. And he was like, oh, gung-ho, and it was very cool, and his parents were there, and was his he, grandmother was, he, was, was there. Was he gung-ho because it was being televised, or was he gung-ho because his team made I it to this? I think both, because the, the television thing didn't, didn't bug him at all. But it was, it was about camaraderie. And you know what, TV, a camera on a little kid these days, when we were kids, it would be weird, and you'd, you you would right. couldn't handle it. But now it's just normal. They're all either taking pictures of themselves on their iPhones, or it's it's just the way I it know, is. I know, but we're talking about... Go ahead, John. No, no, I think the memories you build, and you, you had some... There, there's something about the group, the unit, doing something with your buddies. And if, if this, the teams are legitimate, and, you know, we only hear maybe about the cheating teams, but if there's a, a group that's been together for a while, and they've played well, and they're making plays, they are fun, fun to watch. More fun probably for the moms, the dads, sure. the grandparents of course but if they're playing the game well uh, it, it is a, a bit of a joy to watch I, I do enjoy watching you them do play. Okay. yeah I do uh, I just I don't I don't it. like though when it gets a little too much when it gets too much adult involved uh, in, uh, adult involved you know when they're pushing their own agendas um, but these kids these kids are in front of the cameras a lot they're doing their own thing uh, you're gonna have shy kids no matter what you're gonna have you know you know, more kids who are outgoing, who are going to enjoy the spotlight. I, I just think there's a sense of entitlement that comes from not just the kids, probably more so from the parents. Why aren't you out here covering this? Well, my my ten year old is on a team that just won these games, and well, it, it's in all sports. It's not just baseball. We see it in basketball. We see it in hockey. We see it in all the sports. And it's like, what makes you think? 
that people care. People are not going to call you anymore because they're going to, <laughs> no, I'm telling you, because they're going to shoot it themselves. No, that's true. They, they, everybody's shooting their own, you know, putting it up on YouTube because they don't need, I mean, no offense, no, no offense. offense. No, no offense, <laughs> yes, yes. But they're doing it themselves, so yeah. they're not going to call. They're just, right, they, you well, know, right or wrong, we're just feeding content. In fact, this TV station is asking content. for those pictures. Well, Correct. So we put them up we're just feeding product. content yeah. in, and all of us. Over our shoulder is Sports Edge. We're asking for the same thing. If yeah. you have videos, right. your kids have you done see? something great, send it to us to, to spotlight that. And that's a way for people who do call us a lot, saying, why, why don't you cover us? And we love to cover everything. Let's be honest. We would love to cover as much as possible. But do it yourself but, now. But we, yeah, and we can't get to everything. So we have to you know, pick and choose. Maybe we pick the Little League team, you know, who's competing this year. Maybe they make it to Williamsport and we start to cover them as they get closer. Or, or the American Legion team from Brantford or Middletown right. are competing yeah. uh, this weekend as well. And the further they go, the more coverage they'll get. We can't get to everyone. It's, it, that's ridiculous to ask us to cover that and then to yell at us and be mad at us. I mean, they're going know. to cover it and send it to you and then tell you to put it on the air. <laughs> and, that's and, what they're going to do. Well, this turned out to be a great plug for a reported feature. Yeah. Gratuitous as it may be, send in your photos. Sportsedge.com. <laughs> right. And tell us a little story, too. Give yeah, us you give caption. us the information. Because oh, that's that a sure could, way to get it We out. could talk about your kid uh, on the air and on the website. All right, that's going to do it for us here discussing this very important topic. Thanks for tuning in here on sportsedge.com.